Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. And tonight I am going to show you the Ubiquity Networks Aircube AC. They also make this in a non-AC flavor. And this is their AirMax Home Wi-Fi Access Point Solution. I'll put a link to this. And it is supported by UNMS. It has a super antenna. It also has 24 volt pass through. So if you have Air Max equipment that is outside on your house that's connecting to your Wisp, this guy can go ahead and power that. And it has U Mobile support. So they need to update their site because it's not U Mobile anymore. The app actually says UNMS. So and it has a sleek design. You can see that there are two different uh, models the ISP and the AC. And the Wi-Fi standards you can see this one's AC this is just in this one uh, has four gigabit ports the one that we're gonna mess with the other one only has 10 100 and only works on 2.4 gigahertz this model the AC can do 2.5 2.4 and 5 gigahertz so and when we take this guy out of the box let me uh, let me show you what comes in the box this is it's packed very very simple very light so the first thing you get is the quick start guide that tells us how to configure it you get the device and you get the 24 volt power adapter so the power adapter itself is the same size as the power adapter that comes with the amplify unit but it is not USB-C. It has this little barrel connector. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy plugged in and fired up. But real quick, take a look at this as a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is the Amplify HD. This is the AirCube. So it's slightly smaller than the Amplify unit you're gonna see back here when we plug it in that it does have a similar light ring at the bottom you can see that it comes on and, and powers up and we're actually going to take our Ethernet cable out of our amplify and plug it into the WAN on this guy and you can also see if we can get to a picture here that the ports on the back are very similar to an amplify you've got a WAN and a 24 volt PoE out and you've got a 24 volt PoE in and then you have two additional ports to set this guy up we are actually going to use that UNMS app and we're going to do it on my Android phone and so to connect to this device what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our UNMS app Aircube log into the Aircube camera permission is necessary for using grant camera permission allow and then we will take a picture of that and it's going to come up and it's going to ask us you know do we accept the terms we're going to hit accept And now we are connected to the AirCube. And you can see the SSID, the security, and this is already all set. You can see that we've got our channel, our output power, that's all on auto at the moment. And then we can get into some further detail. You can take a look at the firmware version. We can look at connected stations come back to our configuration so we can change the security 
We can change the SSID. Can change the network setup, the device name, the accounts. We can connect it to UNMS. There's a site survey. You can look at all of the networks that are around here. We can do a firmware upgrade. We can back up the configuration. We can reboot and we can reset to factory defaults. So the whole idea of this device is when your ISP, if they're using, well, they wouldn't even really have to use Ubiquity, but anything that's 24 volt, it's ideal to use Ubiquity. So now you're powering your outdoor CPE off of your indoor router and everything can be managed from one location and you don't have to worry about it. So if you've been watching the UNMS videos, you probably know where this is going, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of this device because we are going to be using it here in a future video. So if you've got any questions about this device, you can post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please copy and share. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the Amazon affiliate links down below. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.